Boeing's Starliner spacecraft is now scheduled for an April launch for its first test mission with astronauts on board. Just a few days ago at a Boeing facility on the Kennedy Space Center, the capsule was attached to the service module. A lot of delays and a lot of money has been invested. The idea was to have independent pathways for getting U.S. astronauts into low Earth orbit, said UCF professor Josh Colwell. But Starliner's delays gave the other pathway, SpaceX's Crew Dragon, a two-year head start. Like the Starliner uncrewed test mission to the International Space Station from the Kennedy Space Center last May, the craft will be lifted into low Earth orbit atop a ULA Atlas V rocket. It's critical for NASA to have redundancy and a backup in case one of the crew programs faces issues and has to halt operations. This is important for IS operations but also for the future. NASA has learned that one vehicle programs can face delays and challenges, like during Apollo and Shuttle. Having another crew-rated, successful launch vehicle in your repertoire is certainly going to be helpful for those long-term strategic planning goals, Colwell said. That includes the evolution of private space stations once the IS is retired in less than a decade. And here on Earth, the Starliner program is helping to grow operations at the Kennedy Space Center beyond just launching rockets. The old hangars that were used for the Space Shuttle Orbiter, one of them is being used to assemble and the testing of the Starliner vehicle. I think it's great that that capability is here at the Space Center," said Associate Professor of Space Systems at Florida Tech Don Platt. The Boeing CST-100 Starliner's crew and service modules were connected or mated on January 19 in advance of the first launch with astronauts to the International Space Station on the company's next-generation spacecraft. During the operation inside the company's commercial crew and cargo processing facility at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, a crane lifted the reusable crew module atop the brand-new service module to become a fully operational spacecraft. The complete spacecraft will fly NASA astronauts Barry Butch Wilmore and Sunita Suni Williams to the space station for NASA's Boeing crew flight test as part of the agency's commercial crew program. Starletter will launch on a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket no earlier than April 2023 to test the end-to-end -end capabilities of the Starliner system prior to regular flights with crew to the station.